you said a couple minutes ago, and I keep, and I've been wanting to come back to it about the the half inch boxes because I feel like yeah. when you said that, a lot of people are like, no, 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 absolutely not. Got to be three quarter. What did you mean yeah. by uh, un until someone's installed the three quarter inch box? I uh, perfect example recent project I just installed. It was um, a three quarter inch three quarter inch side, three quarter inch back. Sometimes there were boxes within boxes. So you had a three quarter inch drawer box within, you know, a three quarter inch space. It's hard to explain, but heavy doesn't equal strong. And I have installed cabinetry from a company called Premier Custom Built there in Pennsylvania. I would say they're the top tier cabin manufacturer uh, in the country. They do everything you want, anything you want. They custom stitch all their veneers. They do high gloss. They do any, again, literally what, anything you what, name. They what's do their it. name? Premier custom built. Okay. And I was fortunate enough to install their product um, for this other designer. They use half inch. They use three quarter unfinished ends. Uh, another cabinet line uh, called QCCI mm -hmm. there in Pennsylvania as well. Quality custom cabinetry. Half inch boxes, three quarter finished ends, half inch backs. And so again, heavy doesn't necessarily equal as strong. You can have a half inch box that is built every bit is strong, every bit is square. Um, and that will wear and tear as good as a three quarter inch plywood box, um, period. And when you're lifting a half inch, uh, a box that's built out of half inch, um, with maybe say a three quarter, you, you notice it, it's a lot lighter. It adds, it, it just takes, it's less strain on your body. I think it's less strain on the installer. And so you get a high end, higher end uh, finish and higher end quality because your installer is not struggling so much just to get a damn box on the wall mm. or to move a box. And so, yeah, people are going to turn their nose up at it. And I used to as well. And it's, it's one of those things where you start to realize like, yeah, you're focusing on the wrong thing. Uh, I, I mean, well, I might, I might take this a step further where it's like, I think about quarter inch boxes. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Eighth inch cardboard. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, so I've installed some of those German kitchens before, and, and and it's it is it's it's literally half inch laminate sides. Sometimes it's yeah. three quarter, and it's an eighth inch back. And people are yeah, like, yeah, that's crazy. It, I would do that. Yeah. Well, you, sure, but I could argue the same yeah. thing where it's like, dude, who cares? It's got you know they have the 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 bracket hardware with the teeth on it that you hook onto mm -hmm. a a steel rail that gets bolted to the stud that eighth inch back is Possible. literally just so you don't see the wall. That's it. Yeah. yeah. And it sits tight against the wall and, and once it's up, it's fine. And, and a couple of years ago, my brother, um, installed an Ikea kitchen in his house and people were like, I can't yeah. believe you let your brother install an Ikea kitchen. I'm like, I mean, we're expensive. Like he wanted to do something less expensive. I went to his house. I'm like, shit, man, this thing looks good. Yeah. And I'm look, like, I, I spent, I spent a good th half hour going through it. Look, I'm like, there was some nice ass hardware in this thing. And, and yeah, yeah like it, it was silly. I took, I took a handful of photos, like, you know, all the doors are bored on both sides. So that way they only make one door that you can yeah. use left or right, but they make these really slick color match plugs that go into the, the yeah. hole that you don't use. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, okay. It's not, that wouldn't be like an ultra luxury. Like you would never get away with that in a, in a multi-million dollar home, but this yeah. kitchen looks damn nice. And, and to the, to, to most people, they don't give a shit what it looks like on the inside of the door. Yeah. Even, but even discerning clients though, again, having, having installed premier custom built and knowing what uh, it costs or what, what clients are being charged for it. It's, it is now it's a domestic half inch ply again, three quarter finished ends, one inch thick face frames, one inch thick doors. All right. It's quality. It is some of the highest quality that, that I've ever touched. And I used to be like, how are these people getting away with this? But ultimately, man, I think people are, and, and personally myself, I was focused on the wrong things. Again, I'll say it before I'll say it again. Heavy doesn't necessarily equal as equal strong or strength. And you can have a half inch box is going to be every bit as strong as a, as a three quarter inch box. And so for me, I, I don't, I don't see the problem with that. I think okay. so many cabinet companies have just been set up for three quarter for so long. It's yes. like your entire like 
all of your tooling, all of your design software mm-hmm. is set up for three quarter and that, like making that change um, would be tough. I think that obviously, like, I mean, there's a lot of companies who don't use domestic ply as well. And I think going to anything less than three quarter, it's like things get a little bit yeah. bowed, um, yeah. which makes it tough. But I, like <clears throat> if things are well built and, and there's joinery, <clears throat> Um, I don't think that there's a need for anything thicker than that. I think it just comes down to like how you're assembling, what your tooling looks like, what your design looks like, um, as far as strength goes. Yeah. And especially on finished ends, those are, those will be three quarters. Yeah. And so at the end of the day, um, you know, I have, I have zero issues with it and have had zero issues with them. Yeah, I guess, Tyler, that's a great point. I think one of the reasons we went to, like our boxes are all three quarter. And frankly, we also were doing full dust bottoms under every drawer. Yeah. Which is bananas. Like, and it was a, you know, and I think a a, a ton of weight, like a ton of weight. And I, I think we've actually got rid of the dust bottoms recently. And when we did it, it was like, well, you know, our selling was like, you know, when you pull the drawer out and the spatula gets stuck. Well, not with a good one though. Not with our cabinets. Yeah. We have a full three quarter inch, seventeen pound dust bottom. There you go. And here's the thing: just just to be clear, we are talking about inset cabinetry. We're not talking about full overlay, yeah. full access. We're talking about inset cabinetry with a face frame. Right? Yeah, and just just so everybody knows out there. But yeah, I mean, dust bottoms. Again, three quarter box, three quarter dust bottoms. That that's a brick that you have to lug to and from the site, and then your installer yeah. has to lug to. And so yeah, it adds up. Yeah, I mean that's, that's a great point. Like you know, I, I where I was going with that is I think you know there there's so much redundancy where you know you think about I think about my first house. It was a 1950s cape, and the cabinetry was plywood and you know pine that was finished nailed together. And the thing, like the kitchen worked, had a sink, yeah. had storage, didn't have a ton of adjustability, but had storage, right? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. and it was fine. And you think about now, it's, you know, it's a cabinet, it, it's the base, it's the cabinet box, then it's the drawers, then it's the doors, then it's the finish panels, then it's the, the fillers. And there's just, my point is like, there's so much redundancy. And if you, like, <clears> you look at it, it's like when, you know, almost every box that comes out of our shop is a box and then has a finished panel and yes. you know and and it's like well couldn't you just finish the panel that you're also using for the cabinet it's like yeah you could but we we said that that was you know that was too complicated because of the way we go about finishing it we want the box or and we assembly want all the or assembly yeah. Yeah. yeah where it's like how do you hide the and screws drive. or yeah yeah right and and it you know, sometimes you could argue the other way, but most of the times it makes sense to have a finish panel be a finish panel in the box, be the box. But we, yeah. we are in this world of just like complete redundancy and, you know, parts upon parts just to accomplish, you know, ultimately the same thing. And, yeah. you know, I, I've, I, I saw this example, I saw this uh, building the other day and they had this quote unquote crown molding detail. And it was just, you know, it literally was a square box and then it stepped out an inch, went up eight inches, stepped out another inch, went up four inches, stepped out another inch, six inches, stepped out another inch. And then it was like, it was this multi-tier thing. And I'm like, (laughs) and I'm looking at it, I'm like, someone drew that and was like, that's a good detail. That's a great thing. It's like, why not just make the building square? Yeah. Like you you would have saved all that money and all that aggravation and ultimately probably would have looked better because it would have been a a little taller. Yeah. And I think that like in cabinet making, it's, you know, or not in cabinet making, but in in cabinet uh, design, it's, you know, there's this desire to just layer upon layer. And we try, you know, and and then we, and then not to mention like the times where it's like people try to fake what it, what it really is. You have the full overlay and then you have panels that are trying to trick you into thinking it's inset, but it's not a consistent look. So yeah, you know, I don't know. I, I'm I'm a little bit going down a rabbit hole here, but I think it's that ultimately, happens, yeah. yeah. I mean, ultimately, I, I I look at what we do is this, you know, expression of uh, obviously design, and oftentimes I I question like 
Are we really doing what is asked of uh, asked of us, or are we just trying to, you know, uh, fulfill like our romanticism for for what we do as a as a trade? Yeah, I think it's a, and it's a fine line because we are at times interpreting architects' drawings, uh, elevations. Uh, at times, we're interpreting uh, interior designers' elevations. Um, sometimes I, I use those terms loosely. They're they are suggestions. You know, we get elevations, but we also, at, at the end of the day, we have to take those those elevations and, and make them um, true to form, uh, but also make them easy to install, and so that we can. Um, ultimately give them that look mm -hmm. so so yeah it's a fine line